have had a very quiet one because we've got a big afternoon and obviously we had a late night last night and I had a rough night's sleep. So I didn't know that. You can tell me that. I think I do when we woke up. Did you? Do you know how I tried getting out of bed this morning? I know you sent me Instagram messages at in like 2 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Is that what you were doing? No, oh, the Facebook. Well, I slept Messenger. pretty. I slept good. That's good. I, I good you bad. Anyway, we're now on our way to the airport to do our flight up to the Arctic Circle. The northernest we've ever been. Already at the northernest we've ever been. Yeah, this is the northernest, <laughs> but we're going to go more northernest than now. Yeah. And we're going to be super northernest. See you there. My name's Cody, I'm going to be your pilot today. Uh, any of the, your guys' carry-on bags?
This is a concert cafe. Let's stop here. <laughs> what in the morning are they? Thank you. Are you still a toilet store? Love it. Very basic little cafe. <laughs> Went to see for toilets. So this is Jack. <laughs> Gonna see. He's us. This is the moose I killed last fall. We cut moose to eat, and we have lots of game regulations and restrictions because there's only 0.1 moose per square mile, 10 square mile of the moose. Alaska is not like the Hollywood version of Alaska. It's <laughs> taming wildlife. It's the Serengeti. Hollywood producer. Yeah, yeah, that's a Tanzania. There are hundreds of species of mammals. There are 34. They only have really few hundreds. 
1932 cabin. My mom and dad bought that in 1967 when I was 10. I first visited here in 1963 when I was five. And we finally moved over here from Chandelier Lake. It was straight that way, 55 miles. Anybody in the metric? Yep. <laughs> 95 kilometers. So yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I'm by <laughs> 63 miles, 100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. So the generator here is the supplement. So eight months of the year, solar's 80% of the incoming power. I just had sun on the panels. I'm like, I was planting flowers and cutting them in that garden over there. It was really nice and hot. Now it's getting cold front. It's cool down, down, isn't it? So that generator <clears throat> is on demand right now for this eight months. But... Uh, Nice and warm in here. Mm -hmm. Mostly warm. Got bare chairs. Got a couch. Bare chairs. Whatever you want to sit on. Let's sit on the bare chairs. <laughs> Don't be afraid. They've been dead a while. <laughs> so we uh, got a relatively smallish house. And uh, these the LED lights are running DC current right off the battery. Looks like a car battery. So they're running DC. So this open, Jack? Yeah, it's kind of hot in here right now. One of her friends, a local artist, this lady Peggy, uh, Peggy Burke, who used to live here, um, does these like paintings on birch, birch bark that she uh, puts in those frames and sells as well. And Peggy's sister, Katie, is the one who painted the mural. The northern most we could get. Out. We're going to turn east now. This is the mo most northern point we're being going. From here we are, to the the, you know, this is probably mile marker <laughs> 188, I would imagine. So 260 plus... Uh, As you can see, we've got the rain. 273 miles. And then Bozzy beat my lip. Six hours, you'll hit the Arctic Ocean. Or 240 miles. Word. Approximately.
We are back in Fairbanks. That's I think where we were for a second there. As you can see, it doesn't look too like it's even rain now. So what did you think about your clothing choice today? Did you think you good? Didn't need my jacket, yeah. So it was warm. Jacket. It was quite pretty warm, warm up there. The All right, Robert. Yeah. Here you are, sir. And Deborah. Oh, Here you are, okay. ma'am. Congratulations, okay. Stephanie. Yeah. Yes. Right. Well, we just got our certificates, as you saw, to say we're one of the 4% people. I think it's 4% of visitors to Alaska have been to the Arctic Circle, something like that. So we're now a member of that very exclusive club. It was a very good day. <laughs> Couldn't actually talk to you guys though because we're with a small group, so this wasn't possible. We're in the plane, which is noisy and you couldn't hear me anyway. And the lunch ordering system was a bit academic. What I do think you mean? no matter what you ordered, they just gave you similar things. Oh. It was. No, you they just said it, it's they obviously a remote place, so if they're yeah. out of stock, they're out of stock. So Kevin had ordered a tuna salad, which I thought and was I a bit of an odd choice for him. Turkey instead. Yeah. And I ordered Cheetos and got some other chips. Uh -huh. And I ordered an orange and got a mandarin, which was <laughs> But anyway, it was... Mine was... I got everything I ordered. Did you? Oh. Yep. <laughs> that was just you, Kev. I got you must have... too. Yeah. To show it me. What are you doing, Miss Mozzie Bite on the lip? I know. I tried to film it, so I don't know what show. It's gone down now. And never got itchy, which was weird. But yeah, the old mozzies were in force up at Coldfoot. But I haven't got any, like, besides that one bite, I never got itchy from any, so, so I've got other bites I don't know about them. I could just feel that one on my lip <laughs> getting bigger and bigger. Because I do, I'm obviously allergic to mozzies. But usually I get itchy as well as get a big lump. Anyway, yeah, very good day. Good afternoon. There was one corner where, because we drove up whatever the, whatever the highway was, the Dalton and we turned Highway. off to go to that guy's farm, but on that corner, that was the northmost spot we I got to. I did mention that when we were there. Yeah. So we can stick up our <laughs> position, latitude and longitude of that corner, because I screened up, screened up the thing where when I was doing it, so you can see that. Uh, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. And the guy out at where we went to Wiseman's, Wiseman was it? And I went more north than you did, because I was on the right hand side of the car when we were on the right hand oh side God. of the road. <laughs> So I, I, oh, I got I don't more care. north than you. Oh, I told you before, I don't care. Well, I'm the winner still. He was only bragging at how he was, or telling me how he was going to make sure he went further north than me. I was going to just take an extra couple of steps. But that corner was the north move, so. But I was on the correct side of the car. You so just I'm, sound like an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Well, that's how you sound. <laughs> I beat you. You're just, oh you're just cranky because you lost. I don't care. Anyway, it's a good day. Yeah. yeah. It was weird though being like in the Arctic Circle and it being quite warm. That was all I took. I took this polar for this jacket because Kevin told me it would be cold in the plane. It was not cold in the plane. It wasn't cold in the plane. It wasn't cold. <laughs> I actually asked the lady on the way over to the plane, what's the temperature? And she said, oh, it's warm because they're up near the sun and in a little box. And coming back, I had the sun on my side and it was very, very warm. But it's okay. I just lugged the jacket around for. No reason, but that's okay. It was a very, very good day. And I actually quite, I quite enjoyed seeing the rain. Uh, rain, what do we call it? What do you call it? A rain, a rain shower? They have a crossover in different sections. I get Cheetos. So take that back. Yeah. We're back of our car. Take back. back of our car is just uh, covered in, in jackets. <laughs> And bags, as you do. Well, that way we're covered and we go out, aren't we? We've got whatever we want. <laughs> Kevin put his raincoat on briefly. I didn't bother to get mine out when, we were, when it rained five seconds, or when we're out in the rain for five seconds. All right, let's go home.